Hey, I'm Tom Davis, Senior Manager with Cisco DevNet. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Cisco DevNet and what it offers our community. Cisco DevNet is Cisco's developer program. It's the place for Cisco customers, partners, and individuals to go when they're interested in writing applications or integrations on Cisco's platforms. It's a one-stop shop for anyone wanting to learn about these platforms and find the resources that they need for things like code, documentation, how-to articles, and use cases. We have a free part mission, which is quite simple, and that's to help Cisco's customers, partners, and grow in the modern economy and API economy, to make innovation easy and help developers build solutions with Cisco's platforms and their APIs, and to make DevNet developers successful in their businesses and their careers. Before we go into what DevNet actually offers, let's take a quick look at why, why there's a need for DevNet. Well, customers have been asking us for two things. They've been asking us to help them automate their infrastructure, but also help them connect and integrate into those systems and, and into the network. And it's clear that we can do that through programmability and APIs. Programmability and APIs are the engine that enable customers to transform their businesses. So how can we at Cisco help? To start with, we have the amazing Cisco product portfolio, and that covers everything from intent-based networking to cognitive collaboration, secure networking, to cloud and IoT and edge computing. This new network, its APIs, are a large part of how we can help and how we can get you hands-on with APIs. And we do that first through our DevNet dev sensors. The DevNet site, uh, on them, we have developer centers and we have a dev center for every major Cisco technology. The one on the screen is a cloud dev center. It's a typical example of a sensor and comes complete with API documentation, sample code, use cases and sandboxes, learning labs and tutorial, tutorials around that technology area, in this case, cloud. But here's a list of all the platforms that we have dev centers for. And you can see on the right hand side that we also cater for two different kinds of developers, the infrastructure developer and the app developer who wants to build on top of the network through APIs. The goal is to bring them both together and provide resources that they both need. So what resources do DevNet provide to complement the API information within the dev centers and to enable those developers to produce their solutions and applications? Well, let's navigate through the site and find out at developer.cisco.com. Underneath uh, developer.cisco.com, you'll get start. You'll see you get started with what DevNet has to offer, and there's six icons. I'm going to take you through each one of those icons now. The first is the Start Now area, and this was built because people were saying, "Hey, that sounds great, but where do I start?" And as the name suggests, it's the first port of call for people who want to start learning about Cisco's platforms and taking some steps into network programmability. Within Start Now, you'll find curated lists of things like learning labs broken down into pieces, bite-sized pieces that you can go from here and then dive deeper into things like sandbox and certifications. Now, secondly, there's a full list of learning tracks covering all of different Cisco's technologies. The tracks are self-paced, online, on-demand tracks comprising modules of labs that you can take. Examples of learning tracks include our recently released containers learning track to help understand containers and container management. And then there are things like network programmability tracks, collaboration technology tracks, and much, much more. Then, you can dive into our online video courses that help learning through bite-sized videos and demonstrations and presentations uh, on things like NetDevOps. And further, there's the DevNet Sandbox where you can get hands-on with pretty much any of Cisco's platform through another self-serve on-demand set of environments. If, for example, you're working against Cisco's container platform and you don't have to ha have your own equipment or lab to hand, you can start developing by reserving one of our sandboxes and sharing and learning solutions with your team in minutes. Within the sandbox, there are hardware-based environments, virtual environments, and just pure development environments to allow your imagination and your skills to run wild, covering labs across all of our technologies. It's a huge, completely free resource from DevNet. And here are some examples of the latest releases from Sandbox. First of all, we have App Dynamics, which allows you to get real-time insights into your VM and container-based app performance. 
Next, we have Cisco's container platform, which is a turnkey open source based solution on Kubernetes that simplifies the deployment and management of container clusters through a user interface and an API. And then we have multi, multi domain sandboxes that combine many of Cisco's data center and networking technologies uh, to help you build and deploy your applications onto and test your performances of those applications out across a wide range of different technologies end to end. Finally, we're, we're soon going to have a Kubeflow available uh, sandbox, uh, which is a project Cisco are heavily contributing and it's dedicated to making development of learning, uh, machine learning on workflows on Kubernetes simple, portable, and scalable. They're all coming very soon. On DevNet itself, we have also our code exchange and our automation exchange pieces. Code Exchange is an online open source curated set of code repositories related to Cisco's technology areas. And the actual code is found in associated GitHub organizations. Code Exchange is really a place where the community can share code that they've been working on. And you can upload it and you can search for it. And you might be able to look for code against a cloud solution like Cisco Container Platform that helps you automate new cluster deployment. Automation Exchange is then an online open source created set of use cases broken down into a work run fly methodology together with the steps on how to accomplish that use case. Each automation exchange use case is then published on code exchange to keep them consistent. And then there's ecosystem exchange, which is a growing catalog of over 1500 business solutions created by the Cisco ecosystem, covering all of Cisco's technology platforms. It's a place where partners can amplify and market their built solutions uh, from Cisco sellers to their buyers and put them in touch with each other. For Cisco customers, it's a place to discover them uh, and package solutions that deliver real world business outcomes. So having looked at the website in brief, let's look at a summary before talking further about how DevNet can help you in your skills and your career. And this is the summary slide of everything that we've just discussed. Uh, we have community resources on the left, learning resources on the right and partner transformations in the middle. With the community, we have over 500,000 strong DevNet membership, uh, sharing learning and best practices and resources across code, exchange, automation exchange, and ecosystem exchange. On the partner piece, we have Solutions Plus partners and Cisco compatible, uh, that, that have partners who have Cisco compatible products that are listed on the global price list, and they're included in ecosystem exchange. And then we have the learning section. There are a number of ways in which DevNet members can learn, either self-paced or instructor-led, in person or virtually. And you can attend the DevNet Express event or a workshop run by Cisco all over the world covering container workshopping, cloud collaboration, DNA security, Meraki, and much more. And we've already covered the learning labs and the sandboxes, of course. Now, how can DevNet help with increasing your own skills and your career through DevNet certifications? Well, Cisco has had a network and engineering certification levels for many years, CCNA, Specialist, CCMP, and CCIE. Their qualifications are respected around the world and it's a hugely successful program. And we've introduced a new track now called the DevNet Certification Track, or a software track. It aligns to the same levels as the network engineering track does, and both tracks have the same kind of exams, the same rigor, the same levels of expertise, but the DevNet certification focuses more on the software skills. The goal is to enable people to build those skills and to connect them to build them into a combined team role. Within the software track, at the first level, there's DevNet Associate, which is one exam, and it's a great place to get started. It proves that an individual has skills in developing and maintaining applications built on Cisco platforms. The specialist certification requires passing another exam and that provides the opportunity for individuals to take advantage of new opportunities in application design or software development. They can skill up on driving automation within our technologies or create applications on top of core technologies like WebEx, DevOps or IoT. And then the professional exam is more uh, certification is more comprehensive. There are two types of exams in this, one that covers core software development design on Cisco platforms and one software developer concentration exam depending on the individual's focus area. The program is being designed so that these certifications can combine together to help people for new job roles that they're seeing in the market. One of these roles is a network automation developer. This is a role people are really looking for. 
And one way to build to a network automation developer skill set would be to earn a DevNet professional level with Enterprise Core, plus a specialist in Enterprise Automation, and then a DevNet, uh, a DevOps specialization on top of that. The DevOps specialization certification provides a candidate's knowledge, um, validates a candidate's knowledge of DevOps practices that pertains to development automation that enables automated configuration, management, and scalability of, say, container management and cloud microservices and infrastructure processes on Cisco's platforms. And here's another example of a web scale engineer for people who are dealing with things at an extremely large scale and how they will build the DevNet certifications together to really push down that career path. To help people get started, we've introduced 61 new Cisco training courses, with more coming, all available through the Cisco Learning Library. And through DevNet, we have a couple of new tools to help you train for your certs too. The Fundamentals Training is a new online self-study experience that people have had great success using as a self-study tool to prepare for the associate exam. And then there's the study group, which gives you a way of learning and joining a group of like-minded people studying towards a certification. Or if you want a little more light touch self-paced way of learning, you can always go to the self-paced learning labs that we recommend on DevNet for each certification, and they can be accompanied by the associated DevNet sandbox too. Well, we've just covered a huge amount, but Cisco DevNet has a lot to offer. Now, to get started on all this, here's where you go. You can get started with developer.cisco.com slash start now. You can start your certification journey by going to developer.cisco.com slash certification. And for partners there look to get more information about becoming certified on their software skills and APIs, they can head over to developer.cisco.com slash partner. In summary, Cisco DevNet is here to help Cisco's customers and partners grow in the modern ecosystem to make innovation easy for them and help developers build solutions with Cisco's platforms and APIs and to make DevNet developers successful in their businesses and careers. Join today. Thank you very much.